I blindly walk through the desolate town with no goal in mind. My body looks almost skeletal and ghostly. I find a small row of homes and consider raiding them for food, but I quickly pushed away the idea. The thought of stealing from houses owned by corpses like a rat and walking through the memories of man as a thief disgusted me. I didn't think there was a purpose in that. Eating food that didn't belong to me, extending a life that wouldn't find fulfillment. So I kept walking through the empty street with a mind blank of thought. Then I heard running from behind me, and before I could react, my knees jerked to the floor and it felt like my head was split in two. I awake in an attic, on my knees tied up. A child looks at me at eye level, his so jaded. Those guys always bring bad meat. I propose we cut the wanker's arms off. He looks up at a girl to his left. What do you think? She looks bewildered. His arms? By the time we bite into the skin, we'll meet the bone. They both laugh for a bit, so I say, I personally don't think it's very funny. The boy looks at me as if I'm stupid. Who the hell asked you? You look so gloomy you probably wouldn't laugh at anything. The girl snaps at him. Oh, shut it. God and everyone else knows if you were in the same shoes as him, you would be just as depressed. Hell, you would probably be crying every day like a baby. The boy looks at her, then back at me, his face full of pity. I feel I should have felt shame, but I didn't. I don't know why. He replies solemnly, I suppose so, but what should we do with him? We could plump him up. The girl questions this proposal. Plump him up? That's stupid and a waste of time. It would be easier just to find someone else. The boy asks, Then what do we do? She replies, Of course, we can't kill him for no reason. That's just cruel. I guess we'll just let him go. Alright, it's settled in. Come on, let's go. The boy partly unties me and leads me out of the house. As I look around, I see children frolicking and joking while eating peculiar meats. We reach the door and the girl begins opening it. Wait. The boy cries out before reaching into his bag, pulling out four granola bars and a rusty switchblade. You look so goddamn depressed, I thought I should give you something to at least give you a shred of hope. Either that or something to kill yourself with, he laughs jokingly. The both of them then shove me out the door. Bye, they both cry out as they slam the door behind me. I walk to the houses out of sight, into the wasteland once ruled by mankind thinking that I might find solace. Thank you.